Ag PhD full episodes and more are now available on Acres TV, the newest ag platform connecting you to fields of information. Look for us on watchacrestv.com. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about seed to soil contact. Getting soil to touch that seed on all sides and be firm up against it is really important because that's how this seed is going to attract moisture to get in and to start germinating. Yeah, it does seem a little bit weird. It's like, well, why do I have to have the soil around the seed so tightly? Why is this a big deal? But Darren's right. I mean, it's about attracting moisture. So moisture doesn't just move from top to bottom. So it rains and the water just goes down, 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 down. What happens in the soil is through capillary action, moisture can move all different directions. And the tighter you have that soil around the seed, the better chance we have for the capillary action to bring the moisture to the seed, and that's really what you need. Well, what happens sometimes as farmers are planting, if the soil is not quite perfectly fit and they don't pack the soil around the seed, there can be an air gap there. And if there's an air gap, that allows that seed to dry back out and we really need that seed to pull in a bunch of moisture to germinate. So if it dries back out, the seed could actually start germinating and then die. Yeah, or the other thing is, let's say it doesn't start germinating at all, and then some people say, well, I just didn't have a rain. If I just would have had a rain, then I would have had the moisture there to get the seed going. Yeah, you would have, but if you would have packed the soil around the seed a little bit better, you might have gotten that seed going without the rainfall. So. What we're trying to do all the time on the farm is not just beat Mother Nature, but work together with Mother Nature to make things grow well and produce well so we can have good yield and hopefully make a little bit of money at the end of the year too. And this is a real big key. If we have some plants that start germinating and other plants that don't, well, a plant that gets way ahead of the next plant, that next plant that comes up, let's say two or three leaf stages later, that's now a weed. It's not gonna produce well, and this big plant can't overcome the difference between the other plant being lost. So we want even emergence, and that means for every single seed, we're trying to pack the soil around it. Hey, one other thing too, if you're trying to start a plant, but you already have a little plant started and you're going to just transplant it out into the soil, you're gonna pack the soil around the root system just like you're gonna pack the soil around seed. That's going to be a real important thing because again, here you go, you've got the root system, it needs to draw water from that soil, draw nutrients from the soil. So getting good contact with the soil is a real key. Yeah, so in Darren's case, it was root, to soil contact, but our main topic here for Farm Basics was seed to soil contact, tremendously important on every farm. The other thing that's tremendously important on every farm is controlling our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 